the wave nature matter and the space filling medium may be closely linked. According to my research, every mass defect in the universe is transformed into an extremely fine space filling form of matter. Since mass defects are a universal phenomenon, it follows that the entire universe is permeated by this extremely tenuous medium. This omnipresent matter may exert a significant influence on the motion of particles through space. For instance, consider an electron moving through this medium. It continuously interacts with the surrounding space-filling matter, causing its trajectory to deviate from a straight path. Now, consider a beam of electrons. When accelerated by a specific voltage, all electrons in the beam follow nearly identical trajectories. If this beam is directed through a double-slit apparatus, the electrons will interfere constructively or destructively, exhibiting wave-like behavior akin to that of light. This phenomenon may provide a physical explanation for the observed wave nature of moving electrons. Furthermore, even when electrons are sent through the slits individually, each electron follows a path similar to those of its predecessors due to the uniform influence of the space-filling matter. Over time, the accumulation of many such single electron events still produces an interference pattern, identical to that generated by a continuous electron beam. Next, consider placing a particle detector at one of the slits to determine through which slit each electron passes. The detector interacts with the electrons, altering their paths. This interaction disrupts the conditions required for interference, thereby eliminating the interference pattern. This interpretation offers a novel perspective on the famous observer effect in the double-slit experiment. It suggests that the disappearance of the interference pattern may not result solely from the act of observation. Instead, it could stem from a physical interaction between the detecting apparatus and the space-filling matter that guides particle trajectories.